Many pupils are probably familiar with using the rich media of interactive websites. They may not be so familiar with how they're built. This program explains how in a series of four lessons, pupils can be shown how to collect and process the data needed to construct a sophisticated multimedia web page. The lessons cover units of the Key Stage 3 ICT curriculum, dealing with processing text and images. Peter Humphreys is Head of Geography at Sir John Nelthorpe School in Brig, Lincolnshire. He's also an award-winning teacher of ICT. He's already set up and managed a geography website for the school and he used an aspect of the subject for his ICT project. Pupils learn how to incorporate video, still images, text, audio and graphics into their interactive web page. It also features a studio-based weather forecast, a weather report out on location and an audio version of the forecast in a foreign language. These techniques and lesson plans focus on the weather, but they could also apply to a variety of subjects. It's a good example of being able to uh, bring together lots of different multimedia uh, aspects to it. So we could bring in a weather cam, we could also bring in and get the pupils to produce a short film and also to bring in audio translations as well to use their French and German. So bringing it all together into that site. Peter has produced a detailed set of lesson plans showing the background to this project and tips on how to execute it. They can be found on the Teachers TV website. Peter took 16 gifted and talented Year 9 pupils off timetable and divided them into groups of four. He split the project into four lessons held over three weeks and this is how he did it. In the first lesson, pupils observe a TV weather report and analyse it. Peter then presents the class with a list of weather-related websites to use as research tools. The brief is to research and collate information on national and local weather. Using a presentation software package, pupils import the information from their research and draft a five-day weather forecast. Their work is saved in a shared drive. You're going to look at and find all the information to put this presentation together. You're then going to come together in your groups of four and you're going to put those particular resources together in the presentation. As the group as a whole then, you're actually going to film yourselves presenting the weather. Well, I think the best thing to do is, is several of you have a go at it. No problem yeah, and then choose which one's best. Well, it doesn't have to be the best one, doesn't it? But at least you've had a go at, having a, a go at the, doing the presentation. They're just completing their presentation. They've found the information from the internet, dropped it into their transfer files. They've then worked as a group They've divided the tasks so some of them are actually producing the resources for the presentation and the others are producing slides as prompt sheets uh, for the presenter. Uh, they're going to be in a position then to actually use the smart board and then be able to uh, film their presentations. In lesson two, Peter helps pupils familiarise themselves with digital video cameras and digital stills cameras. Most of the pupils haven't used the digital video camera, so again, they, they learn how to use the digital video camera. They um, will then take all the footage that they collect and that, download that onto the school network. Right, you should be in the position then, after lunch, to be able to come through and be able to use this on the screen. And while some people actually have a practice and go through that, the rest of you then are going to go with the cameras and actually film your piece of work from outside. Pupils rehearse and record a local weather report using the digital video camera. The stills camera is used to record images of the weather. OK, and um, get ready, Rebecca. Would you have to say the temperature? Yeah. The wind speed today is getting up to nine miles an hour, so it's time to put your hats and coats on. Now back to you, with you, to you in the studio. 
In the second stage of this lesson, working in groups with the smart board, pupils film their five-day weather forecasts. Which camera will I be looking at? Which that was over here. A bit, a bit closer. A bit closer. Now I've got one of them blue blocks. That'll do that. Ian, on that one, there could be a local map behind that instead of clouds. So the things are actually over a local map. I'm trying to put a picture of the local weather in the background of our local report. Hello and welcome to today's local and national weather. On Thursday, in the south, you'll be looking at temperatures of 3 to 5 degrees centigrade and there's chances of rain and sleet. In the north, it'll be 5 to 8 with a slight chance of rain. Friday, pretty similar, cloudy in the south with again temperatures of 5 to 6 and in the north it will be temperatures of 5 to 8. Now for our special report from Jack outside. That was quite hard actually. <coughs> Back in the classroom, Peter spends the remainder of the lesson teaching pupils how to format, transfer and download their recorded images onto the computer. In the computer, this lead goes all the way around and it's got a capture card in the back here, right? Mm -hmm. So the computer's going to take the information and then save it into your user area. I'm going to just rewind it a little bit so as we get to the start, press on the play and capture video. For a non-specialist teacher to be able to do a multimedia website, I think they would need uh, some training beforehand. I think they need to know what a multimedia site is to perhaps to come along and use one of the sites and to get some specific training in the web creation software. Pupils homework is to familiarise themselves with video editing software in preparation for the next stage of the project. They can do this at home or at school over lunch or at the end of the day. To some extent pupils have generated a lot of homework with it. Uh, it's their general enthusiasm. Um, they've come in each lunchtime in, in this particular project. Most of the time it's been where they wanted to increase the quality of the work that they were doing and one or two again have gone out and used the camera again to get better footage. <laughs> what are the costs of this project over and above a standard ICT set of lessons? <laughs> the multimedia presentation that Pete's doing at the moment has cost us probably less than a thousand pounds on the top of the, uh, the computers that we'd already bought. On top of that, we've probably spent between five and six hundred pounds, I think, to finish off the bits and pieces that allow us to use video recorders, video capture, web cameras, these sort of things, and some of the software. So it's not hugely expensive. In the third lesson, pupils work in pairs to edit the footage they captured in the previous lesson. Having downloaded the work, the five-day weather forecast, the location weather report and the still images, Peter encourages them to think carefully about the structure of the film. Once complete, the film is saved in their user area and is ready to be embedded in their interactive web page. We now go to Rebecca with the weather report. All the film's been done. What we want to do now is actually to put this film together. What we'll be able to do is to download all your pieces of work into your user areas and then they'll come up like these little thumbnails at the start and then you'll be able to drag them across and pop them onto this area. Now, you know when you've finished it and you've got all your timeline and everything's done, yeah. and you've then got to go to the bit at the end where you're then going to render it. And what the rendering does, it joins everything together and it saves it then as your film. So, yeah, so as your film there, it goes into your user area, you change it, call it what you want, and it will save it then. We're just editing the video we made of Ian presenting the weather and putting it onto a film clip so we can put it on our web page. Well, I've never done it before, but it's fairly easy and we're just watching it and making sure he's done it OK. Later in the lesson, Peter asked pupils to script and record a weather report in a foreign language using an audio software package. We found some uh, flags to begin with, a French flag and a German flag, so they could actually make a hyperlink from the flag to their own audio. So as part of sort of developing it for the gifted and talented was to take the, 
produce a transcript in French and German to actually record it in sound recorder and then make a link to that particular audio file. And they, they thoroughly enjoyed doing that. I know I have quite a bit of feedback from the uh, language staff where they've been sort of been getting some help and uh, um, it's generated quite a lot of enthusiasm. We've said all this in English on a videotape and now we're translating it into German and then saying it on the microphone. Das Wetter in Großbritannien ist heute gesmackt, ziemlich besorgte mit einigen Jubiläen in der Ostdeutschen Region, Düsseldorf der und ein wenig am Abend im Norden. So, how have pupils responded? My confidence in the ICT is good now, I think, because um, I get to know how to put um, video onto a computer and render it and put it onto a website. I think the responsibility for them actually to go out and do the work outside and then to come back and actually interact with the computer has certainly motivated them. Um, I think they've enjoyed the sort of the independent learning that they've had to do uh, and to go out and, and do the work that way. <laughs> In the final lesson, Peter introduces pupils to web page creation software. Their task is finally to build their interactive web page by pulling together all the elements needed for the page. The pupils include their weather report, weather forecast, links to useful weather websites, links to their foreign language audio files and links to the school's geography website. Today the pupils have completed their own weather reports, they've produced their films and now they're using the software package to be able to design their own multimedia website. So the first part of this they've just used the headers, they've inserted their own video files and they're creating interactive buttons. This part of actually using the new software package is probably the hardest sort of ICT work they've had to complete. Most of the work have been using simple producing simple websites beforehand so it's taken it to a, a higher level. This is at the end of the project and this is where we've got to in producing your multimedia site with the various different components in it so far. All right then off you go. We designed this website together and um, as you can see there's the video of Ian in the middle presenting the weather for the five day forecast and in progress at the moment is the weather links which Work. And it goes onto the BBC site, so you can link to that to look at the other five day forecasts. I think you've done really well there. It's an initially a project that we're, we're looking at because we know we can expand it. The group that Peter was, uh, was working with at the moment are selected from our Gifted and Talented Register and then what we'll do is we'll incorporate another group of children who may not necessarily be Gifted and Talented but they'll bring their own skills to it and their own outlook and their own perspectives and we're hoping that the project will roll on throughout the course of a year with a different group of, uh, of children picking it up and running with their own particular presentations. We tend to set our kids. They're not necessarily set on ICT ability, they're set on other, other criteria. But what we try to do is make sure that uh, the differentiation is within the, the, uh, the task that they're doing. So the support they'll get from the member of staff will allow all of the students to uh, achieve the best they can be. Mm -hmm.